What is that I hear? More carp fishing, more carp fishing. Oh, I'm sorry, because that's exactly what we're doing today. Back at the carp pond today, hoping to catch a mirror carp. We caught one carp last time with Anna, um, but that's only one after like five, six, seven tries last year. So let's get to it. So the thing is, I already see two carp right here. They seem to be always just hanging around the spot where the creek feeds in. Oh, there's one right there. Try it for the middle. So for both rods, I just have a hair rig, an egg sinker, and some plastic corn. I put three on just to make sure that the hook floats, because I noticed that if I put two on, it barely floats off the bottom. I'm gonna cast the other one to the right. Drop it down. Ah, okay. Should be fine. Let's do some chumming. there some giant brand corn nice and cheap was on sale did you have to know that probably not also it seems like these carp are feeding right now put on the polarized glasses let's take a look not sure way where they went i got a good feeling though i feel like we're gonna get a bite today i think we just need one fish because even catching a single carp here has been a struggle for me while i'm here I have my light rod here, five foot, four pound test line. Let's put on something and catch these little sunfish on the side while we wait. Oh dude, there's a giant carp there. You guys see that? It's still swimming around, look at that. Right there. Earlier there were two, now I only see one. Hopefully something takes my bait. A lot of sunfish too. Uh, let's uh, try to get these little sunfish. Using a trout magnet. So there's just, all there is is sunfish in here. We caught a crayfish before, but pretty sure it's just sunfish, crayfish, carp in here, no bass, no crappie. And a lot of the sunfish in here are not very big. So unfortunately I do overuse it a lot, but the trout magnet just works. Let's go. Look at this beautiful fish. First cast. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Pumpkin seed green sunfish hybrid. Actually, I'm kind of going a little bit far from the rods. I'm gonna put on a bell. Bunch of bluegill here, bunch of sunfish, a ton of sunfish on the side. To be honest, I kind of thought a few minutes after I casted, I would get a carp. But nothing so far, and that carp is gone. I'm gonna lay this rod sideways, actually, just so I can, I can shake it a little bit. Let's catch some more sunfish while we wait. Ton of sunfish, just all investigate. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. You can't even get it. They're all fighting for it, but mouth's too small. Got it. Green sunfish, pretty sure. But all the fish from here, are actually, they actually look a little bit different. <laughs> This year seem to be like a lot of hybrids and stuff. They're all stacked in a very small area. It's a lot of sunfish here, a lot of fish. Even very shallow too. Let's try the right side actually. Near the grass, the grass Tyson. Sorry, I think I'm funny. Oh, dang, that's another bite. Another bite, holy crap. The heck yeah they just grab onto the plastic but it's nice oh ah oh, fell down the cliff i don't want to check on the carp stuff i don't know if it's the all the sunfish here gulping up the corner what they might have moved a little bit deeper i mean i try to come out nine or ten at nine or ten a.m when i got here let's just say it's exactly not that let me relocate this. Dang it, there was a carp right there. And it started swimming when I reeled in this thing. Guess what, all the sunfish came over when I reeled this in and they, when they saw the corn. Which makes me believe that they're all gulping, gulping up all the, 
scoping up all the corn. I hope we don't catch like the exact same carp the third time. Chris caught that carp once, it broke off. We caught it, got the hook back out. I hope that crazy carp doesn't come back for a third. Let's do some more chumming. Don't forget the corn. All the freaking old bluegill got to it first. This is not meant for you. Corn's not good for fish of smaller sizes. Got a branch. I think it's tangled around it. Why does this make me believe a fish got to it and it got itself unsnagged? What they keep doing is just grabbing onto the tail and running. Yes, gotcha. I'll ID below in the video. Oh, dang, that was a belly flop. Whoops, sorry. Bro, there's a big pile of poo there. I'm pretty sure it's a dog poo pile. I'm always talking about poo every video almost, but unfortunately that's just how things are. Everywhere I go, it's just a bunch of poo. And just might be color variations. That one's a pretty sure a green sunfish right there. Right, really bro, nothing? You're joking. Let's just take a look on the other side, see if the fish are there. Look down, a lot of rocks, bigger sunfish. Fish popped out over here. We got a pipe, turtles, some smaller fish on the left. Oh my gosh, are they caught? Yo, I think I see carp right in that corner. I was in the wrong spot, huh? Oh shoot, okay, okay, okay. I was in the wrong corner. The carp is still there, good. One, two, three carp, four. Oh, jackpot. Oh, another one right under the tree here. Oh man, they're all here. All right, I'm gonna try to cast to the behind it. They're very shallow right now. To the left side, over there. Oh, perfect, right there. And then I'm gonna move the red one over here. Oh, bluegill are nibbling it. Stop. Oh, the carp migrated to the right. They're migrating, they might've got, gotten spooked. Swimming to the right now. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh, it's a freaking cricket, man. I thought it was a drag going. They're all migrating to the right. I might have to chase them. See, they're right here now. There's one golden one right here. Oh, there's one right here. Great. Oh, there's so much grass here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it just went past. No, that carp just went past. Dang it, dang it, it got snagged. Oh, it's the worst. This is actually the worst. I'm trying to find a slightly shallow area. Let's see, this place looks all right. Has some branches, but we'll take the risk again. Oh, there was one right there, dang it. Oh, spooked it, went to the right. I feel like I'm just spooking and chasing these fish. Chasing and spooking, spooking and chasing. I'm too indecisive right now. I hope they can see it. Oh, there's definitely a carp feeding there. So shallow. It's eating on the bottom. Oh my gosh, all the bluegills are attacking my thing. Oh my gosh. What the heck, bro? Dude. This guy just hung on to it. Hung to the plastic. Get back in there. Dude, oh, look at this carp, got spooked. See, it's going towards the splash. The bluegill keep attacking the corn. Like crazy, these bluegill are so annoying. It's actually what makes it kind of difficult to fish. Some of the most aggressive sunfish I've seen. And I'm using a hair rig too. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. What can I do, guys? Help. I need help. The carp are all here. I can't catch them. I'm gonna leave it this time. 
Might have to try something really creative. Okay, usually people do this with bread because it floats, but I'm gonna do this with corn because I don't have bread. Basically, I'm gonna make try to make accurate casts directly in front of the carp and see if it'll take it. Oh my gosh. Come on, carp. Oh, it turns towards it. Come on, carp, come on, carp. Come on, carp, nope, bluegill's coming. No, oh gosh darn it. Go away, sunfish. Oh my gosh, these sunfish are way too easy to catch. Another one of these guys. Great, messed it up. You know what, screw it. Get some like brass and stuff, ball it up, put it on here. I don't even know anymore. No, no, screw you sunfish. Oh my gosh, this is straight up impossible. This guy for sure I know is a green sunfish right here. Look at this. All right, get back in there. Usually I see them right over here. Today, they're, they're over there. Lady who was walking her dog just told me that there's just a bunch of carp on the right corner where I haven't walked to yet because trying to catch the carp over here. But earlier, like all the carp just started swimming over there to the right. It seems like the few that stayed have gone away too. Man, today was a lot more of a struggle than I thought it would be. And I think mostly it's due to these annoying little sunfish. They are carp blocking me. Okay, the ladies just told me. Ton of carp over there on that side. Seems like they already migrated all over to that side. This branch. Oh, there's a huge snapping turtle there. And I'm also snagged, I think. Thanks to Whatever. Oh man, got out. Oh, snapping turtle went for it. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. What? In the world, dude? Straight up crime scene right here. I realized my line, I first thought this was the hook and stuff just in gunk, but there was more line. I come down, there was a freaking mangled giant green sunfish that previously got hooked. Somehow on my hair rig, got stuck on the bottom where it like got itself tangled maybe, was unable to escape, and I'm 99% sure that this giant snapping turtle came up and just ate it. No wonder when I was trying to reel this back, it still followed up and trying to eat, trying to give another bite. That is so messed up, man. I don't even want to touch that, man. It's like fresh, fresh. Fresh, not fresh, fresh. Fresh flesh. This is brutal. I was not trying to do that here. I'm just trying to catch a carp. Toss back. Dude, that, that snapping turtle just went for it. For the rest of it. Snapping turtles are no joke, man. There's a carp right there. Not a mirror carp, but let's give it a cast. Oh, let's see if I'll get it. Oh, there's a big one right in front of me. Darn it, a small fish next to it took it. All right. Oh, yeah, 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 they're all here. They're all here. Yeah, that's right. Good call. All the bluegill are here. Darn it. Gorgeous colors. Cast it close in front of it. <sighs> Look at that. You know what guys, I'm just gonna take you guys underwater and show you what I mean when I say I just can't chum. I 
hope you guys were able to see how crazy that was underwater. I'm not catching anything today. Not catching any carp today for sure. Man, they're all here. The carp are straight here, straight up here. There's one right there too. They just won't, just won't eat. Just won't eat. Why? Why won't you eat? Oh, there's carp that are finally going towards that area now. Oh, wait. Which one? Which one? Oh, dang. I think I have this on. Oh, shoot. No. Oh, I have a carp. I have a carp. Yo, guys. Holy crap. We got one. We got one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That took long enough. Oh my gosh, I was literally about to give up. I was about to leave. Please stay on, please stay on. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude. Dude, am I recording? Oh my gosh, yo. Oh my gosh. We did it, oh my gosh. But no, don't go over the other line. Oh shoot, that's not good. It's not big, it's not big. Let's try to land it. Small. Okay. Oh my gosh, yo, that's a, that's a good run. Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful carp. Might be a mirror carp. Oh my gosh, come here. Let's go. Got it in the net, yo. Look at this carp, guys. Gorgeous carp. Check this out. There's uh, some lesions on this side for some reason, but this side, beautiful. It's like painted. Look at this fish. All right, time to let it go. Yeah, it's been four hours now, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out, get some uh, fast food. It's a challenge, but we all love challenges, and especially when you succeed after a struggle. That's that's a good feeling. Thank you guys for watching, as always. And I'll catch you guys next time.